Alright y'all, welcome back, welcome back. I can actually say that I missed talking to the camera guys. This is probably the longest I've gone without posting. There's just been literally so much going on. A lot of this stuff is very timed and I've just been really trying to get things lined up the best I possibly can. And you guys, if, if I miss a week or two weeks, you know, like I, I really don't want to put out a filler video. If I'm going to make you guys what I want it to be, you know, something really, really good. And I've been wanting this to be the next video for a while. And we finally got everything lined up to do it. And that is setting up the entire farm with feeders, with feed, getting the cameras all set. I mean, this stuff today is going to be like the one and done. We're going to run this for as long as we have the lease. You guys might see the blind a little bit in the back. I'm not going to show too much because part two is coming. Like I said, guys, just a, just a lot of moving parts, but we are getting the farm set up today. I'm really excited to show you guys a lot of new stuff we're going to be using this year. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and unload the truck. Let's get rolling with this video today. One of the things I'm most excited about is that we're actually starting a fee program on the new lease, guys. And I can't tell you how excited I am to do this because that's kind of like always been the goal. Like, guys, truthfully, out of all the bucks we have in this farm this year, I only have one that I really, really want to target. And it's because he's the maturest buck on our farm. And, you know, we have a lot behind it that I think have really, really good potential to be something next year. And I enjoy letting those deer walk and kind of watching that happen. So if I can substitute, you know, a really, really good feed form and help them do that, that's the overall goal to me. We're going to talk about the company who's going to be supplying us for the next couple years with what we need to accomplish that. With that being said, Moultrie sent out a damn good looking gravity feeder because you don't want to limit the deer to how much they're going to eat, especially trying to do a program like this. And they sent out a feeder this year that is controlled by this guy right here. So I'm super excited to show you guys what all we have to put out in the farm today. The whole day has a lot of cool stuff lined up. We just, uh, we just gotta start knocking at it. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and go to the first spot. We're gonna break ground, get this gravity feeder set up. Let's get it rolling. All right, this is location one, and this is where we're gonna stick to this gravity feeder. Now, this is Moultrie's 450 pound Rant Series gravity feeder. We're gonna discuss this further because I've never ran a gravity feeder. So I'm gonna kinda of show you guys how I'm gonna to try to introduce this to my farm. And also we're running a pellet that I've never used before. And just to get deer on a pellet, it could be challenging sometimes, but I have faith that we're gonna we're gonna get this done and these deer are gonna be freaking hooked on it. So guys, let's go ahead and start this unboxing and let's get this thing installed. Alright y'all, yesterday I lost track of time and forgot I had to be somewhere, but we are back out here today. When I pulled into the property today and just looked down here, this feeder looks absolutely amazing. Got her fully installed yesterday, so today we're going to start filling her up. We'll be running this feeder for multiple years and I'm glad it is set up and it's just, it's, it truly, it's everything I want it to be. 450 pounds is going to go a long ways and I just, I'm excited to try to see you know how the deer react to this like i mentioned beginning us doing a feed program we have an awesome company up there at the truck right now 
So let's uh, let's go up there, load everything up, and let me explain to you guys what we're going to be running this year. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to start running these products on my farm. Right here we have a company called Monster Mill, and we have a couple of their products on the tailgate. Protein blocks, we've got mineral blocks, we got actual mineral powder, we have a tract, and we actually have their pellet. Now we didn't really do this as much on the lease last year, but because of this acreage and kind of like what we have going on out here, I truly believe that I can try to manage, you know, and capture deer over the years to see their growth. That's why I mentioned to you guys, we only probably have about one shooter buck so far, in my opinion, on the property to take this year because the other ones, I want to get them on this mineral. I want to get them on these pellets. I want to see what can happen with these deer with proper management, proper nutrients, and really see what their potential is. Every deer is going to cap out with genetics, but there is things that you can do you know, to benefit that deer and to really see what his potential is. A lot of these deer around here will never grow to their true size because we, we really lack nutrients. A lot of people don't give these animals, you know, what they need. So that's why I'm super excited to, you know, release this product. That's what this company's really focused on. And that's why it's a great match for what I'm doing out here. So guys, with that being said, let's load up everything we're going to need for this first spot. And I'm kind of tell you guys my strategy and how we're going to hopefully get deer to hit this gravity feeder. Like I mentioned, I've never ran a gravity system feeder at any of, of any of my farms. I mean, I, it's something that I've known about. I really never gave it a shot. And I was talking to my buddy, Tanner Stay, and he made a very, very good point that stuck into my mind. If a big deer walks through your farm and there is no food on the ground for him, kind of what are you, what are you really doing? I mean, and, and, and that's this very, very solid point. You know, deer come and go consistently throughout, you know, the season. And, you know, I just figured, if we have one system down here that was that's going to provide food for them 24 7 and having consistent feed that actually you know benefits the deer why not try to run this system but i have heard it is kind of hard to get deer to hit it in your area maybe maybe not but you know i'm definitely going to use this product right here to help us out with that and hit the name of track this stuff you crack a bag of this you put it on the floor when we will use this today on one of our mineral sites it gets the deer pretty fired up once they smell it so guys i'm thinking to start this program obviously with our pellets we're going to crack that open too because i want to smell that first stage of this gravity feeder is literally going to be a little bit of corn right behind that pellet right behind the pellet a little bit of a track to kind of get the smell through so they can work their way up and then from there guys we'll go 50 50 and just kind of work away all the way up to the top let's see what we're rocking here i'm getting a hit of apples might be weird but i'm curious if the deer are going to eat it i'm going to try to taste that Obviously it's grainy, but it's got like an apple, a hint of apple to it, which is, which is pretty unique. I'm so stoked to see what comes out of this spot. So guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and start loading her up. Guys, we're looking good. You can see right here we have some attract, we have some pellet, and we have some corn. That is, uh, that's probably about the best I can do to get these deer in this area. The last thing we're gonna do is put down one of Monster Meal's protein blocks. I'm gonna dump a little bit of corn around. They're familiar with the corn, so I know that will at least get them in the area. And then I'm just kind of hoping they pick up their head and then the feast starts. So let's get everything here wrapped up and then we're gonna move on to the next. All right, guys, everything is set in stone to the point that I'm ready to go on and back on out of here and start on the second spot. I've been doing these with my cameras lately. I just literally cut a tree and I just, I staked that joker in. Tired of cameras falling down off a T-post. That's just like a final set in stone thing. If you guys haven't tried that, I highly recommend it. 
it's a one-time done deal. Peter is looking good. We got our protein block out. Stoked to see what finds it first. So now we're at location two. This is our three and a half acre bean field in the very back. Right now, actually, the spot I'm in is a lot of grass. We, like I said, we had a really, really bad kill, guys. What uh, what died from the heat is gone, and what stayed, you know, it, it is what it is. We have a couple good sections of beans, but we're actually this video will be coming out soon, guys. But we're we're about to get ready to replant all of our brassicas for the fall. So. Not too worried about how the ground's looking right now. It definitely did its trick in the summer. But this is the way I look at it, guys. Where I'm standing right here is probably like 350 yards from our box house. Now, it's a very, very long shot, and we are going to pick up a 6.5 this year and have the capability to, to take a shot if needed. But, guys, truthfully, I have enough going on this farm to where this is a good grazing field. This is a good area where deer obviously come out the most i'm comfortable to watch deer come into this field and eat and then honestly make their way up to the farm i mean just the location of this spot they they have either two ways to go either left right back into the cut over or they can finish grazing the rest of the eight acres insight we've been getting from our cameras that's honestly what they do the most so Guys, I figured this would be a good location to set up this feeder. Right here we have Moultrie's Elite 2. This is a 325. And then also I'm super excited to show you guys this. This is a new product for Moultrie Mobile. So what's in this box right here literally allows me to scan the level of my corn in my feeder. It allows me to change feed times. It shows me my battery life. All of it is to my phone just like the Moultrie Edges. And I'm super stoked. To have this installed on the property because honestly guys it's a big help trying to keep pressure down and you know not always having to come out here and, and look at the feeders the our gravity feeders are you know 450 this is a 325 the feeders are definitely going to last a lot longer than what they did last year but now we don't have to come out here to check it. with that being said guys let's get all this stuff unboxed installed into the property i am stoked to set up that feed up Guys, I will say this about the Elite 2, I'm in love with the height. I mean, I'm 6'2". My head's literally just right underneath it. I mean, this thing is tall, so it's gonna distribute this corn really, really nice. I love the, the upgraded size. Super stoked about this, but let me go ahead and grab what is in the Feed Hub kit and let's get that installed. So in the kit, you actually get the six volt spin feeder itself. Then this is the laser that literally just sticks inside the lid. It takes four AA batteries. Let's go ahead and I already put them in, but I'll pop them out to show you guys. I mean, just a cool looking design of a product. That opens up and then you have your four AA's. Let's go ahead and pull this lid off. You can see inside the lid, we have this little circle right here and they, they perfectly fitted this so it slides right in. Stuff this sticky bowl. Put it in and give it a good, good squeeze. Laser is installed. Go ahead and attach this to the feeder and then we'll work underneath it. Another great thing about Moultrie is that if you have the standard or the Elite or the Pro, no matter what feeder you have, you can order any head you want. They all have a kind of a quick connect. I've changed out feeders and have pieced them together over the years and that is a great thing about, another great thing about these feeders. Locked on, let's throw the six volt in, positive, negative. Simple as this, let's go ahead and go to our Moultrie app. Everyone's gonna have a ID code. Scanner, just like that. Guys, we're connected, let's go ahead and turn it on. Feed level detectors flashing green. Now we have an orange light flashing just like the edges, like it's trying to connect. App is just literally walking me through all different stuff here. It's just actually connected right now. So on the app, this is where it's actually letting me choose through, you know, all my feed times. Guys, this is pretty neat. I'm really, really liking this. All right, so I have both my times up to date what I want my feed schedule to be. I mean, very, very simple to do that. And now that all of it is to my phone, you cannot beat that. Definitely a game changer for the market for sure.
guys talk about a setup. Camera's looking good. We have our monster meal protein block out and we have our new Moultrie feeder set up. In the distance there, there's the blind. With the feed hub, you can feed on demand. So I just actually, I tested it, but the camera wasn't going. You demand to feed, it, it connects in about 10, 10 minutes it said, but it went off in like a minute, so. This one should be going off at any time, but our feeder is working. I made it go off just to get some corn on the ground, guys, but I am ready to back out this spot, and I'm ready to hit the watering hole. But this watering hole, shockingly, is probably the most used spot out of the whole entire property. Overfeed, over, -feed, over I mean, like, they, they're just, they're always in here. I'll get, that's why I mentioned earlier, guys, like, having the feed back there. I'll have deer, you know, do their thing, and then they make their way over here. They're going to come get their mineral. They're going to come get their water. It's just kind of like a... The perfect spot in the middle of my property to kind of hold animals. You guys can see it behind me, but just the dragonflies, the tadpoles, there's like little weird stick bugs in the water. I mean, this place is fully involved into an ecosystem. This mineral block right here provides everything the deer need. And I'm actually excited about this because the hefty block, probably about 10 pounds, it's got all the vitamins, all the calcium, all the salt. These products right here in the long term are going to help as healthy as they can grow the best they can and then we have a six pound bag of just actual powder mineral so we're going to sprinkle this around our rock and then i'm actually going to throw some attractor down with it guys just because it is a new scent than what i've been using and i want the deer to be comfortable and know that it's here so we'll throw a little bit of that attractor around just to get the deer to smell it out Guys, I mean it, being downwind of this stuff, the smell that it's giving off, even just the block by itself, it's a very, very sweet, but, you know, I can't really come up with what, what it smells like. Don't lie about the tadpoles. Look at all of them, dude. There's thousands of them. This and the blind so far, the best projects we've done at the farm. This is just, it's just awesome, guys, to do something and then just giving it some time and then coming back down here and realizing that it's turned out exactly how I wanted to do it and getting off the whole deer aspect of things. The doves actually use this spot the most. They're down here. I jumped up like 10 of them when I just pulled in here. I won't lie, and even the butterflies are on this stuff already. Let's see if we can get them to fly off. There he goes. They're all in here. All right, we got everything loaded up. There was one more thing I wanted to put into this video, but I realized that I forgot a very important part to do it. So that's gonna have to be Probably in the next one. Actually, the next one, guys, is going to be the blind. You guys keep on asking so many questions about it. Hey, I'll, hold on. I'll give you a little sneak peek. There's the blind. The blind has come a very, very long ways. We're in the interior right now. There's a lot to it, and there's, like, trying to rush to do something. We're, like, doing something right, and that's what I'm really trying to do because we spent so much time on that project. I want it to come out really, really good. So that will be coming up next. Getting all these products out here today has just been a big, like, relief off of me because... Between being out here messing with the blinds so much, I, I, I have pushed off a lot of deer, I think, on my farm. Uh, they definitely have jumped off their patterns and what they were when before we started the blind. So, you know, I'm glad that they have what they need now. I think with time, we're going to start seeing that again. But if you guys want to check out any of the products that we use in the video today, that being Moultrie's feeders, Moultrie's cameras, the mobile side of things, just the product side of things. If you want to take a look at Monster Meal, I really wish I started it a little bit earlier, but guys, next year and the year after that, it's like the two to three year mark, you will really start to see the difference. So you got to start somewhere and I've decided to kind of give it a shot now. At least my farm has everything it needs to start this program and I'm super stoked to see what comes out of it along with all these feeders and all the companies that I work with guys. Companies I choose to use in my videos to like show you guys, it's not just for a selling point. I've never been like that. It's to actually see, you know, the products that I'm using to make this content for you guys. Try to make everything affordable and not always needing equipment, kind of doing stuff the hard way to show you guys that anyone can come out here and do what I'm doing. Having some great companies to help you do that kind of stuff makes the difference. I said everything down in the description below. Go check it out for yourself. I really appreciate you guys watching. Until next time.